you gotta just see a close up of this noodle and in that chili oil. Look at that beautifulness. Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in New York City. Ying and I are walking over to the subway near Times Square and today we're on our way to Queens or more specifically to Flushing to eat. Definitely on the right track now. Train number seven heading towards Queens. Oh, and here it comes immediately. To Flushing Main Street Station. I think that took about an hour. Although we took the local train, I think it would have been faster had we taken the express train. But the good news is we are here. We are heading straight for the Golden Shopping Mall. Yeah, I think this is it, the entrance Golden Mall. Oh, I'm loving this place. Made it to Flushing and then made it down to the basement of the Golden Shopping Mall. And this is an amazing food court. You can smell the spices as soon as you step down here, particularly the cumin. And the first place I had to come is Xi'an Famous Foods. And this is a very, very well-known restaurant within New York. And they also, this is, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the original branch, but then they have uh, branches in Manhattan, quite a few now, but I wanted to come to this branch here. Okay, they do have a row of seats and one long table where you can sit down here. The menu is all on the wall. I ordered two things. I got the spicy cumin lamb noodles, which is one of their signature dishes, and then I also got a side of pickles. When I asked you all where to eat in New York City, this was one of the top recommendations, so thank you all for your recommendation as well. And now I have a plate of the spicy cumin lamb noodles in front of me. The noodles are on the bottom and they are flat and wide and handmade. And then you can smell the cumin coming off of it, the chilies, the Sichuan pepper. I think there's some cabbage in here, some onions, some chilies, um, and then pieces of lamb. And I gotta begin with this. Oh, yes. The noodles are, oh, the noodles are in a, a lumpy pile at the bottom. Very thick. Very, very widely cut. <laughs> that is insanely good. Oh, it's so flavorful. Can you taste that cumin in there? You taste a little bit of chilies, but I also really like those green chilies that are chopped in there, as well as the onion. And then the texture of that noodle, the handmade noodle, it's a little bit chewy. You can taste the like doughiness of it. And then just that oily, chili filled, chili infused and cumin infused gravy is just insane. Follow that with a pickle. And uh, the pickles are also marinated in lots of chili oil and garlic and maybe some Sichuan pepper. That has a nice sourness to it. A vinegary, but then also with the chili oil. You can taste the garlic in there. The cucumbers are incredibly crisp and juicy as well. You gotta just see a close up of this noodle and in that chili oil. Look at that beautifulness. It is unbelievably good. I'm gonna add on just a little bit of black vinegar. Give it a little bit of a sourness. Okay, this is just such an unbelievably good plate of noodles. The mixture, the combination, the freshness of the noodles, and 
I love these tangly like sheets of noodles. The lamb, the, the fresh chilies in there as well. It's just, it's just ridiculously good. But that chili oil with the cumin is just what wraps everything together. What makes it complete, what just holds this dish full of flavor together. I did not want that plate of food to end, but I have reached my last final bite. Just a little bit of lamb. And there's also celery in here, which I didn't realize at first. of notes that I was just reading on the wall. Number one is that there's a big warning that the noodles taste the best within 15 minutes of the assembling of them or preparing of them. And so they recommend that you eat it right on spot. And I would recommend that not only, not only because the noodles will taste better, but because after you smell the aroma of them, there's no way that you can go longer than a couple of minutes without starting to eat them. And then I also love the sign over there where he says, chili oil is your friend. And it really is your friend. It's your best friend when you are here. But he, um, they say that he, the, the chef, he perfected his recipe for the chili oil and he makes it fresh every other day. And the oil contains no trans fat and no cholesterol. So it is, it is almost worth drinking. You should actually almost drink it. It's so good and so flavorful. That was just a, an amazingly good plate of noodles. I am, I'm feeling exuberantly happy right now. Right next door to Xi'an Famous Foods is Tianjin Dumpling House. And I actually, I was reading through the, the Serious Eats blog and they recommended this place. They have a full menu at the top where you can mix and match your different dumplings and they will make it on spot for you so you can choose your own combination. But I just decided to go for one that they already have made up which is the pork dumpling with chives, shrimp, and egg, which sounds like a, a beautiful combination. So I just ordered one plate of that, and it should be hot and fresh coming soon. That's one of the greatest types of steam baths. You could possibly have a dumpling steam bath. Okay, I'm gonna eat these while they're hot and fresh. Chopsticks, and you gotta add on that chili oil. And this, what a beautiful canister tub of chili dry chili oil which I'm going to generously apply. Let me just go with half of them first. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. I think it would be a poor decision on my part to take the whole thing in one bite as it is flaming hot. So I should I'm going to just bite in half right now. Yeah, that is a good dumpling. The skin is gooey and doughy. Inside you got the minced pork, the chives in there. And that dry chili oil. Mm. You can taste the fragrance of the dried chilies, that oil, the garlic in there. I think I might add a little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of vinegar. That was a lot of vinegar. That's okay too. And then some more chili oil. The chili oil is actually not very spicy, but it is extremely fragrant. I think they've cooled off enough. I think I can take it all in one bite. Oh, with that vinegar. That is the touch it needs. This is an absolutely wonderful little food court below here in the Golden Shopping Mall. Incredibly good food. I wanted to taste everything, but we have a few more places to try. So time to move on. Flushing is just amazing. So many markets and restaurants. This, it's hard to believe you're still in New York City here. Ying's gonna stop at Coco for her bubble tea. It's 
not my favorite thing, but Ying really likes it. So that's our next stop. Bubble tea, medium, no sugar, please. Right, mate? It is pretty refreshing on a hot day. We're walking up the road now on our way to a place called White Bear, and they are also famous for dumplings. Gotta have another plate of dumplings next. And this place is well known for their dumplings in chili sauce. And this was a recommendation from foodiehub.tv and Joe DiStefano, who is a blogger from Queens. Thank you for the recommendation. I just ordered my plate of dumplings. Thank you. <laughs> this is just a really, really small little restaurant and the, the kitchen is in the back. There are two of them and they were kind of slowly taking their time but expertly preparing the different dishes. They have, they do have a full menu but I just came here to have the plate of dumplings. And one thing I immediately noticed about these dumplings is, is that the, the flour in the, the wrapper is very white in color. So they might be using a mixture of different flours, I'm not sure exactly, but it's very white in color. Then they've dressed it with the chili oil as well as ch dry chili flakes. I think these are some kind of pickled Maybe pickled, pickled mustard greens and onions and green onions and yeah, what a what a piece of art. I'm gonna go ahead and stab the one right in the middle there, get, getting some of those preserved greens and oil as well. They didn't look that hot from the outside because they're not steaming. But on the inside, they are flaming dumplings. I think it's a combination of minced pork in the middle, and then the wrapper is very kind of sticky. Rather than doughy, it's more sticky and thinner. And then despite all of that chili, it's not really spicy, but it is very fragrant. And the other flavor that really adds to this are the pickled mustard greens. Or the pickled greens, you can taste that kind of fermented, um, preserved pickle flavor to it. A little bit of vinegar. Let me add a little bit of, I think this is the vinegar. Is that vinegar? It looks like fish sauce. Okay, I better start off with a little bit first. And for this one, I will attempt to bite half of it. Oh yeah, that is vinegar, I can smell it. Okay, come take a look inside. I think it's a combination of minced pork and maybe some chives in there. And then you can see the layers, the wrapper is very thin but it's wrapped a couple of times so it has multiple layers of wrapper. Get some of that oil. This is a, a wonderful plate of dumplings as well. Just finished with that plate of white bear dumplings. That was again a delicious plate of dumplings but it was totally different from that other plate of dumplings that we had, especially the wrapper. The wrapper was what was really different. I'm in a little bit of a debate right now where to eat our next meal. I think we're gonna sit down at a restaurant and right behind me that big yellow sign, that's a restaurant called Furan. They are well known for serving lamb chops with cumin. Okay, I'm flipping through the menu here. Oh, here it is, the Muslim lamb chops. By the way, don't oh, have yeah. this today, and what the press, spinach, baby cabbage, baby pork choy, and... Sauteed string beans. Okay. Yeah. This restaurant serves food from the northeastern part of China, uh, kind of north of Beijing, which is near to approaching Russia, and then also part of Inner Mongolia. So you have Mongolia to the to the west, and they serve a lot of lamb dishes and have a lot of chili-filled dishes. It looks like on their menu as well. But I came here mainly to eat the lamb and cumin. We're starting off with a bowl of hot and sour soup. Oh, I love that aroma, that vinegary and spicy aroma. And I think there's also some bamboo shoots in here as well. Mm. Yeah, that's very sour, vinegary. Mm. It's very soothing. And hot. Thank you. All right, the rice, yes, thank you. 
thank you. Wow, look at the size of that plate of green beans. Oh, that smells delicious. Thank you. Got two different dishes. One is fried string beans, and then the main dish, the main event of this meal, the reason I came here is to eat the lamb, the Muslim lamb with cumin just piled on top of it. And as soon as he brought it to the table, just the aroma of the cumin filled the table, maybe even the whole restaurant. Oh, that smells incredible. It's marinated in many things and then deep fried and you can see how crispy it looks. I think it's maybe even coated in a little bit. Let me pull one of these guys out. And then you can actually just see all of those cumin seed, the chilies. Wow, this smells unbelievable. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, and you can even see on the inside, it's like stuffed with redness and then deep fried all the way to its core with cumin just protruding through it. I think I'm just gonna bite this like a drumstick. Oh, the cumin comes in nicely. I think I think there's a little bit of uh, Sichuan pepper in there, and then that lamb is so tender. Maybe that's a lot of garlic as well, and dried chilies, which are fried on top. But I really love that cumin. The cumin is so strong. And also I can see, I think those are sesame seeds, both white and black sesame seeds. But then you can see those, those cumin seeds all over there that just shining beautifully. It's absolutely beautiful. And that was a fatty bite. It's so creamy, so lamby, and so cuminy. I try to take my last piece off this bone. Oh, that just slides right out. <laughs> that just slides right out like a sock. Mm. An edible sock. Wow. Look at how clean that bone is. Okay, next up for those string beans. Mm. That's really good too, nice and salty and garlicky. And you can actually taste like the skin of the green beans are blistered because they've been fried on such a high heat. I was just eating my second piece of lamb, but you have to get a close up look at this lamb. I took my first bite over here, but look at this lamb under here. It's so tender, it's so juicy, it's so everything you want in lamb, and then more with all that cumin and chilies. I'm gonna break off that piece of lamb, and I'm gonna dip it. Some of my crust, all that cumin fell off. So I'm gonna, oh, 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 oh yes. I finished with that plate of lamb, and this is another case of the lamb sweats. I am definitely feeling the lamb sweats. Flushing is a place that's worth it to get a hotel room and stay here just to eat. Oh, I would love to just go to my hotel room right now and then come back out to eat again. Oh, that was good. You can go right here. But I think we are walking back to the metro station, to the subway. Gonna head back to Manhattan. Flushing, you have been insanely fantastic. There's so much good food here. all the way through Times Square on our way to Central Park. I think today is a fantastic day to do a little walking around Central Park after all of that food. This is a monstrous park. We're just gonna kinda take it easy, walk around, and just enjoy the park for a while.
The weather is fantastic today. Enjoying the Central Park. Central Park is huge. I've been looking at the map and we've been walking around for about 10 or 15 minutes and we've barely even covered maybe about 10% of the first part of Central Park. It goes way over that way. But we are enjoying the relaxation right now. And just like the rest of New York City, there's always so much going on and so much happening in Central Park. People running around, people playing musical instruments and singing, people dancing, people laying in the grass, some people walking around and just talking to themselves. <laughs> Everything going on in Central Park. had a lot of meat today already, that entire rack of lamb. So I thought for dinner, we're actually very, right around the corner from our hotel, there's a place called Fresh & Co. I think they serve salads. I've looked through the window and I think you can choose your own salad and your mixture. That sounds like a fantastic dinner tonight. I'm gonna go have a salad. It's not a fully vegetarian restaurant, but they do have many vegetarian options. It's a little bit expensive, but looks like really good high quality ingredients. I got the salad and I got the gaucho salad. I didn't film inside because I wasn't so sure about their, if, if they would allow filming inside. But anyway, I got the salad, he mixed it up and I'm gonna take it up to the hotel room and eat it. All right. Oh, that just smells of freshness. Uh, there is kale in here, there's corn, there are kidney beans, cucumbers, avocado, and it's vegan, so there's no meat in here. And then he added crispy onions. Oh yeah, crispy onions. And lemon. I think that's what, I think I got that correct. All right, salad time. Mmm. That's really good because it's all coated in avocado, so it has that creamy factor to it. And then I think down below here are more, oh yeah, more kidney beans and corn. Hmm. In the videos, I often show a lot of meaty dishes, but I do really, really love vegetables. And oftentimes when I'm not filming, I am eating a lot of salad, a lot of vegetables, a lot of healthy food, um, but I do love meat as well. But vegetables are fantastic. Good salad, expensive. <laughs> An expensive salad, but a good salad. And on that bite of kale, I'm gonna end today's video. If you love to eat, and especially if you love Chinese food, I think making a trip out to Flushing when you, you come to New York City is mandatory. Amazing food, great place, well worth the trip to Flushing. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Th please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also make sure you click subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Thank you again for watching, see you on the next video.